Um, he's saying Diddy is a gangster. He coming out saying basically like him and Diddy, you know, got into it. Like, you know, Diddy, Diddy. checked him. And, you know, Freddie P, I guess, is a street cat. So he said, you know, he was, one night he was actually planning to uh, to murk Diddy. Him and his boy, why they were shooting, making the band? Because I guess Diddy checked Damn. him and disrespected him. So he said, "Yeah, he had to. The we ain't got. They both had to, you know, the yeah. the guns or whatever. And they was planning on to murk that fool. Who oh, Freddie P was planning yeah, to get? Because he was saying on killing he Diddy. Diddy was because Diddy disrespected him. Damn. You know this, and this is all going on while they making the band. And um, he said he was gonna. Um, well, he had planned. I guess he had a ticket home." And they was shooting some like Dave Chappelle skit, and he really wanted to be a part of that. But he's like, I knew that once I left, I wasn't gonna come back because I was gonna do something to Diddy. So, so okay, so basically saying out. what he's what he mean by disrespect? Like he got on some gangster shit with him, or he? Yeah, just kind of checked him. Basically saying, I forgot what. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I need to see what he said, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't heard the name Freddie P in a long time. No, it's the first interview I ever, you know, seen. Like you would have thought Vlad would have got it. I ain't heard Freddie P in a long time. Yeah, that's crazy. Damn, how old is this nigga? Uh, he like in his thirties. This nigga still look young in the motherfucker. Uh, late thirties. Freddie P. Boy, Freddie happy P. to have you on the platform, my man. I was gonna say in the way he's in his thirties. Hey, he forty three. Boy, that nigga look like he twenty eight right here. And they know like he when this come around on me, or if this come around on me, I don't want to. I know. I, you know, I'm gonna be looking for alliances. I'm gonna be looking for people to step up for me. You get what I'm saying? What's crazy to me, man, is some of the names that's popping on. I see hard. Y'all don't know who Hall Pierre is, I do. This a nigga who, like, me and this nigga done had real, like, words to words. Like, me and them niggas done went through real, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, me and Nick, the nigga Diddy, you know what I'm saying? Nick Diddy threatened me. He, um, because I'm the type of person, like, bro, you can, if any of you around me, bro, you gonna see, Bryce, anybody I'm around, they gonna be like, ask Fred to ask, because he listened to you. Or, I don't know what it is, bro. So it's like everybody around was like, I guess, a, some time walking on eggshells around me and sh and I guess in some instant some what he had to feel he had to take back control of what his environment because when he got back in there it was more like every time I'm I'm, I'm in the mood Nick is like and he was like yo Playboy money what you think Nick told me some shit about um and and what's so crazy is if a Nick fat and you like this right you laugh at a Nick like man get your funny ass from by me boy I'm gonna shoot you in your you know what I'm saying. This nigga threatening you, it hit different. You hear what I'm saying? Like, and I'm a gangster. Like, I done been in real shit. Real, I done seen it. I ain't got to talk about him. Just tell you, ain't nothing he can show me that I ain't I seen. See it, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So when he said this to me, uh, it hit a nerve. It was like, it was on some shit. Like, um, one day I woke up, I was in the mood. I'm in the studio, I'm snapping, whatever. I don't want to be f with it. You know, when you're around a bunch of goofies, you're a street nigga. Sometimes you don't want to be around the nerds. Sometimes the nerds irritate you. So, so I'm in that bitch. I'm just. He said, sometimes the nerds irritate you. I'm just frustrated with a lot of shit that's going on. Anyway, we get in a situation. He go to, we in front of everybody. Nick, like, um, he was like, man, money, um, man, what you think you bad or something? He was like, Nick, I buy every house on your block. Shut every light off on that bitch, and when you come out, every time you come out that bitch, you'll get popped. So when another nigga tell you some shit like that, you like, well, get your animated ass out of here, goofy ass. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. When he tell you some shit like that, you go to picture him purchasing every house, you go to picture every light on the block going on. And that shit silenced me. And for you to make that, people ask why I left the band. Like, that's why I left the band. Like, that's why I didn't do Dave Chappelle. Like, we got into that. My next time I got the chance to go home, Cause I could, I had to, you know, you're a gangster. It's like, you know, when you ain't got your gun on, you got to play it off sometime. So I had to play it off. I find, I, I tried to, man, listen, I don't even want to talk. It's because I, I don't know statute of limitations and stuff like that. But I tried to get his pussy out. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he ain't know he was threatening. He pretty, I'm pretty sure he know now. You know, he probably done been living in Miami long enough. He know now who he was threatening. He know how, I, how I'm rocking. But at that time, you know what I'm saying? 
he ain't know what my mind state was. I ain't got, sh bro. I ain't come for. Sh I will, I will be the one to put you on the news and me. You get what I'm saying? That's how I felt at that time. Like, boy, you threaten me. Like niggas in the street don't threaten me. I'm going to war with real killers, and they ain't, they ain't, they ain't not there like this. You niggas, I know standing on business, and you. That's how I felt. Like, oh, I gotta have you. And later on that night, I was trying to take his ass out. You feel me? Like, me and my dog, God rest his little his soul, we was in, like, a G-Wagon, and he had his little two twos. I had a little pistol on me, whatever. I had the Mac, he had whatever, and we was waiting on his pussy to come out because we had a meeting at, at 1 o'clock that night. So I had knew in my mind that, okay, we got into this earlier that day, so my time frame was let me get back. So from, like, 11, no, we got out to, like, 1040-something. So from, like, 1040, so we had, first we had to do, a, you know, do the little homework or whatever, whatever. But damn, then he was going through your yeah. shit this, like that. This is what I'm saying like, though. Yo. This is what I this is what I be telling people, right? I don't know why y'all think because what a dude decides to do with his his penis, bro, that that got anything to do with some street or some gangster shit, yep. bro. Because it don't. It don't matter that if just cuz this Diddy a freak, right? He on that Diddy shit. That don't mean that he won't come whoop, hop out, draw down. We don't know what the fuck Diddy done did for real, bro. With the type of money, the type of power he have, bro. We don't know who, we don't know who, what type of people he didn't got knocked off if he have, bro. Thanks. We don't know if he have or if he haven't. That ain't came out yet. We don't know. We don't know if Diddy on some goddamn uh, uh, mob boss shit. Nigga cross him, you know how they do, bring everybody in the room. You don't know if he, everybody in the room, he just walked out, bow! Yep. Just to establish dominance in front of motherfuckers, bro. So you don't know. You don't know, bro. Just because somebody swing that way does not mean they will not do some type of harm to you, bro. That does not mean that they don't do what they do in the streets. That don't mean they ain't never sold drugs before. That don't mean that they not from the hood. It don't mean none of that, bro. What's up, man? It's Chris J. Jackin' up here at Pop Off the Media, man. If you like that clip, make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on nothing. Let's go.